Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program in Mayo Clinic, Rochester. The gluten-free diet is the center of the treatment for celiac disease. Celiac disease has gone global, and of course so has the gluten-free diet. And the need for this in patients for celiac disease is a significant challenge in, to many people. Uh, we know that here in the developed world of, of, um, of America or Western Europe, there are a lot of resources for people with uh, celiac disease who don't need to go gluten-free. It's still a substantial challenge. But as celiac disease has been diagnosed in other countries, in, for example India, social, financial, um, cultural differences come into play and can impact the ability and even the burden of the patient to follow a gluten-free diet. Universally, it's recognized that social and emotional support, practical support including access to gluten-free diet, as well as appropriate education and follow-up of patients is crucial for the effective management of this chronic disease. It's important as a matter of public policy to provide support for patients who need to be gluten-free for celiac disease. We need to recognize the cultural differences, the differences in medical systems. For example, in some countries, patients can obtain gluten-free foods by prescription. In other countries, a subvention is provided for the excess cost of maintaining a gluten-free diet. And in yet other countries, there are no such subventions or support. Um, in this recent paper in Nature Reviews in Gastroenterology and Hepatology, my colleagues from around the world and I review some of these challenges. We point out, however, that central to success is engagement of the public health system, of doctors, dietitians, and others who can help support patients in achieving wellness through the gluten-free diet treatment of their celiac disease. Thank you.